Hi, this is Courtney with Ginger Knots, and today I want to show you how to knit. If you are a crocheter who is intimidated by knit knitting, this is the video for you because that was me a few years ago before I learned how to knit. So we are going to be showing you continental knitting today. Firstly, you're going to grab some yarn. This is size 5, uh, Lion Brand Color Made Easy, size 5 yarn, and these are 9mm knitting needles. I like bamboo for learning how to knit because it holds on to your stitches better. They don't slip off as easily as they do with metal. Um, so if you can get your hands on some bamboo, that would help. You can use straight needles. You don't have to use the ones that have this between the two needles. Um, I ju that's just what I have today. So you're going to start by tying a slip knot and put that on your needle. So to get your stitches on your needle, there's a couple different cast on methods. The easiest, easiest one is reverse loop. So if you're just trying it out for the first time today, this is how you do reverse loop. You're basically just making a circle and putting it on. My favorite is long tail cast on, but for today's video, we're just going to choose one just to get us started so we can all practice. So just showing you a bunch of times how to do reverse loop. I don't usually do this one when I'm uh, doing garments and different things because I don't like it the way it ends quite as much as some of the other cast on methods, but great for learning. So now that we have some stitches cast on, doesn't matter how many really, um, but if you're gonna make a, a scarf, I usually like to cast on about 25 or so. Um, and I apologize right away if in the background you hear some noise, that is because we are renovating our house and my husband is doing the work, so I am not about to stop him uh, from finishing my house. So firstly, we're going to have our yarn like we are a crocheter. So this is how I hold my yarn when I crochet. I do over under. Some people just wrap it around their finger or their pinky. However you hold it when you crochet is just fine, but you'll want to hold it in your left hand. Where regular traditional knitting, you would be throwing it with your right hand. That's never been very easy for me, so this is how I do it. You're going to start by inserting your needle into the first stitch coming from the front and through to the back. My yarn got untwisted a little bit. From here, you're going to yarn over. So put that just across the face of your needle, and then you're gonna pull that down and through, pull up a loop and pull that off. So I learned this with unconventional knitting terms. I'm gonna tell you those here because it uh, helps me remember when I was learning. Firstly, you are going to stab into your stitch, strangle your needle, then scoop out the guts and throw it off a cliff. So if you're not a total weirdo like me, it is actually insert your needle, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull that loop off your needle. So that is how you do the knit stitch. You'll just keep doing that all the way across. And the beautiful thing about this stitch is that it looks really nice, uh, the texture, if you're just doing all knit stitches. So once we get to the end here, I probably cast on too many for a quick short video, uh, but we're almost there. I'm gonna show you just how to turn your work and start going back the other way. You will work back and forth rows of this over and over and over till your scarf reaches the length that you want it. That's the beautiful thing about just doing a knit stitch project is it is pretty mindless and it's perfect for binge watching whatever you'd like to watch on Netflix. So. We've gotten to the end. You'll turn it around just like you would with crochet and you want to put your yarn around behind. Now other stitches call for the yarn to be in front, but this one has the yarn around behind and we're going to just continue knitting as we did with the first row. So insert your needle, yarn over, pull up a loop, don't drop it, pull up a loop and pull that off your needle. So keep on doing that. Sometimes I get my thumb involved to help me and I'll use my pointer finger on this hand to help me control the stitches um, so they don't slip off because that can be the most frustrating thing when your loops slip off if you're not really comfortable with how to save your knitting stitches. Uh, it seems like you have to start that project all over. So I will have a video very soon about how to recover from losing a stitch. 
So that is just two rows of how to do the knit stitch. And this is an example of, it's hard to see because it's a dark navy. Um, this is an example of what a scarf looks like when it's done with just all knit stitches. I cast on a total of 25 wide and I kept going until I ran out of yarn and it is a wonderful winter scarf, especially this color is great for men, women, kids, anybody. So happy knitting. Uh, let me know how it goes.